All right, this is uh, Ask the Doc. What episode are we on, Nisha? 21. 21. And what's our question this week? It is, I am a 45-year-old male. I am considering labrum surgery. What are your thoughts? That's a good question. Um, get. I see a lot of cases like this where people have either had labrum surgery or they're considering labrum surgery. So let's just start with what the labrum is. The labrum is a piece of cartilage in your shoulder and what it does is it cushions that shoulder and allows your shoulder to move nice and free. Over the years we're hard on our bodies and that cartilage gets beat up, it starts to fray, it starts to degenerate and can cause you some pain, especially when you're moving your arm through certain motions you get like that almost like stabbing or pinching kind of pain, that's usually labrum degeneration. So the problem with the labrum is it doesn't get a good blood flow and doesn't get good oxygen supply. So they usually don't do very well um, with surgical um, interventions, um, unless you're younger. So if you're under 25 and you have a labrum problem, you might do well and you might heal up. But a lot of times you see, especially in baseball, if a player gets a labrum diagnosis, it's usually a death sentence for that shoulder. So what happens is people end up getting the labrum surgery, but they never actually address the problem what caused it in the first place. Usually it's a rotator cuff dysfunction, um, overuse kind of weakness stuff. So the doctor goes in, seals up the labrum and thinks that's going to fix everything, but people end up having that surgery and don't do well with it and it doesn't heal right either. So. If you're over 25 and you're considering labrum surgery, it's probably not going to do too well for that problem. And you should start with a conservative approach, clean up all the tissue around there, add some strength and see how it does. If you're still getting that pain and decreased range of motion, the labrum surgery might help, but it shouldn't be your first step in the process. So thanks for the question. Keep sending them in and we'll see you guys next week.